Oh, the pretest goes, the pretest goes. Oh, I tell you, the pretest goes down to the river, down to the shore. The orc boy's coming for that pretest, oh. Pretest, 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 pretest. I think we just made a hit song right there. I think we just made a hit song. All in like 10 seconds of our sweet, sweet pretest. Ah, uh, yes. As I get the slaughter part, what is that? Eight? Part eight? Okay. All right. Eight parts in. Eight. We in deep into this series. We're getting fairly late game, I'd say. You know, we're getting a good chunk. Grimgore's got a huge chunk over here. We're number one and two on the entire map. Because we've been just crushing it. Grimgore, I don't know. You know, we, I mean, we're going to have to block against Chaos, too, when that comes in. So I don't know if we're going to even be fully prepared for that yet. The first time I did it, or the last time I played Azag, I was like, for some reason, I just hit everything right and just crushed all my battles really well. And, uh, and I think I was like prepared for Chaos for like 30 some turns already up there. Like, just max defenses. I had, like, six to eight. I think probably actually closer to eight. Maybe seven or eight. Um, just random stacks I was trying of everything. So everything from just, like, you know, a, a goblin stalker spam. I had a Ragnarok spider spam. I had a giant spam. Just the normal trolls, because I didn't have the DLC yet. I had that spammed out. I had black orc spam. Um... I think I did one where it was all night gabos, like night gabo war swordsmen, like a few of those, and then a bunch of archers with like a couple uh, heroes in there and everything. Um, I couldn't do a wyvern one because you can't get those without the. Uh, I feel like I had one more for some reason. Maybe it was like. Oh no, I know. I actually had two more. I had a full one of the uh, the orc. Uh, that's that special orc boar lord where you get a bunch of orc boars with them and stuff like that and you can do I think it's decent bonuses then one for the spider one but I use the spider one uh, to go around the map and just clean up any anytime it could find like loose settlements or like uh, like smaller armies around there that they could just pick off really quickly so I had them just following like a bigger army and just picking off around the edges of it it's that, which was really fun to do, because you just have waves of spider riders poisoning them. And then I'd start adding those fire arachnorok ones on top of it. And then if you get a wall, you just get a whole army with them. So we were looking at, I don't even know if we were going into a... Into the next turn, or if we were coming back. I think we had just taken Karak Ezor. And I can't remember if we had another siege going. We're waiting here. Took this area. Let's get stabbing. We could start moving around here and get stabbing. Yeah, we'll start heading out to take out this guy, maybe. Um, with the money, I think we we're gonna cool it on the money just for now. Just maybe save up in case we need to splurge a lot out of nowhere. Especially if armies get destroyed, the recruitment cost is still gonna be pretty significant. We'll do a double check to make sure all of our lords haven't gone through, you know. All the lords haven't gone through, and I think we already checked that. We are moving someone, I think, to Karakasan. Out this way, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, they're heading to Karakasan. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and not drink all that coffee tonight. Because there's still like a half a can in that. A Starbucks double shot energy. <laughs> Ding! Oh, I see you. I see you, Norska. I mean, if they hit Prague, you know, we'll just take it back eventually. I, I did, wasn't putting too much into it. Hit Minstock now. This defender's performing alright. That's good to know. That's good to know. 
Oh, Corona and Carcassonne finally merged together. There's some raiding going on out here. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure that we were... Get him a level up. I think we got everything we can. Yeah, we'll keep cleansing some corruption, but let's go snipe this guy. Make sure he, he just keeps chasing there. That was it, yep. Let's make sure that this person's not going to run any, into any weird stuff as he's heading down. I'm special. We'll get ready to jump out this way. <sighs> I hope you guys are ready to have fun. Still, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a while before that goes away. Grimgore still loves us. I can kill you later. Just basically, they don't like our treaties with the Thousand Maws, barely. But even these guys are not going to like us soon enough. I can bend you to my will. Yeah, we're going to have to start looking at Rakarth, maybe fighting him too. That's why we're saving up money, basically, for any loose ends to tie up like that. New Moss is still chill with us. Greenskin, you are stood before me alive. I almost want to go for him. He's forgotten about the. Uh, the other stuff there. We're just super low reliability. Let's head up here. We're just gonna go crush some of these Skaven. I'm gonna start raiding as well once we get into I think this territory is theirs. Yeah, we just are about to pass it. So once we get in there, we're gonna just be chilling. Fildorf, let's go ahead and get them upgrading. <laughs> and let's hope that the auto resolve isn't bad. Let's just do the auto resolve for that. And now we occupy it. And Angrund is destroyed. Uh we'll keep this here for eh, we'll we'll make sure it's just sallied up. Hmm. <laughs> as far as our objectives go. Yeah, we still need to own Nagash Shazar. 16. <clears throat> we only have four right now. We got the rating and we're fine with that. We need to defeat Chaos. Eventually it's just owning stuff. Here, we destroyed all these guys super quickly. We only need eight to get the short victory. So it's not too bad. And we're moving along all those ways. It's just a bunch of special places all around. And then eventually Nagashazar. <laughs> and at worst, all we have to do is wait to get a treaty with... Uh, with Black Crag, or we snipe, uh, or we snipe Grimgore. We find his army and snipe it. Like that, maybe. He's got a wall going right now, too, though. I mean, we got a pretty strong army, though. That's very tempting. That's very tempting. Let's come out this way. Just keep an eye on this guy out here. Ooh, let's see what Grimgore does. But I definitely want to get rid of uh, Karak Ezor first. Oh, good and bad. All right, I see you. Wurzog's heading up here. These guys are going crazy. <laughs> So we're losing Marauder Champions here, huh? I guess that makes sense. They are pretty darn strong. The tribe's ready. Nasty so he's setting on along. Let's jump to the Bay of Blades here. We won't have one turn of extra rating, but uh, we'll be... I think we'll be good. I'm not going to worry about the Tower of Crack out here. I think we're going to... The Tower of Crack... <laughs> maybe we go I mean maybe we just double up here maybe we just double up on this because we still need to build siege equipment anyway so I don't need to worry about leveling up this fort if they take a fort no big deal let's just like walk into hell pit here and have just two just what is that 80 units all in one area the fight against that, I think we should be able to win. I would hope so. 
And we'll be defendable here. At least. Um, I knew we had sending those other guys out here. Let's go ahead and get Scarsnick. Yeah, like out towards Norden. That's going to be an easy snipe target for them. Castle von Ralken going to be a little bit more difficult, I'd say. But Norden, yeah, is going to be easy when Zavastra they could be going for, maybe. But I doubt that. We could get this guy going up here. Actually, yeah. Oh, if we can block this guy, that's going to be massive. 70%? That's why you gotta have some heroes around. Have some heroes around there. We'll get a scavenge. Keep going. Uh, let's push. We'll just push this to level three as well. Boy Shank, we wait on. See, I don't know. I don't think we do that with here. We'll let. We'll let this be like the fight pit. I think we save our money on that. Eater Shoffen again, yeah. Like, they could still be remaking an army over there. Wrecker's Point, potential, but I'm so worried now that since it's already level 2, I just kind of want to let it generate money rather than hope and just get slaughtered anyway. That's just me, though. I just don't think it's 100% worth putting the extra finances into it. Um, yeah, we're doing good here with these guys. I think that's the end of our turn here. Let's do a check around some of our other stuff. And maybe we also go look through our lords and make sure that they're fine-tuned for some of their stuff. Norden, yeah, we're not going up on Norden. We'll make sure that they're up-to-date on equipment if we have any. I feel like we've gotten a ton, and they're probably all wearing it already that they have. But if there's anything that we can do to, like, help get more on them. Um, for this guy, let's get him. Maybe this Helm of Discord just to help him out. Physical resistance would be nice because he is weak at that. We won't worry about the Crown of Command. Trickster Shard could be nice because he is a mage. Uh, fear and terror. Go for it. <laughs> Let's just pop them on there. There we go. Just ran random banners. That's that's the true strats right there. Random banners. Four days. Let's give this guy just something basic. Not the charm shield. That one's actually pretty nice. We'll give him the magic resist. Um, something basic here. Just more weapon strength in case he hits something. Uh, not the Cedar Rebirth. Let's go with the Magic Resist here as well. We can have him overcast if we really want. Let's just get a bunch of these random banners. Except for that one. Let's go for that instead. Um, let's see. Scarsnick. That probably is pretty, pretty full up. Let's give him the Seed of Rebirth so we can get some of that going. I'll have a Potion of Healing as well, so I'll have plenty of regeneration. Azag. Let's make sure Azag's actually topped off on everything. I think he is. The Wanda Jet's probably the best thing we're going to get right now. That's what... That's about... I think he's fine with what he's got. Yeah, the potion of toughness and everything. I'm there. Let's get this guy something better. Let's give him the ward save. Or the charm shield that does give ward save for time and parry. Missile parry. Nah, let's just take the constant. Sword of strife. Let's actually get this, yeah, magical attacks with him. No, nah, we're about to fight dwarves again. I should not be doing that, actually. Let's do this one. That one, yeah. Let's do that one. <laughs> uh, we'll get him some more ward save again. And we can use Crown of Command on him to help keep uh, a 
stone troll in if we really need to like late game but i don't really foresee us like trying to force that in i would almost say we should go for cleaning up this area with our army right now we could go for one of these guys orc boars but i think we got to do like a gobbo army of some sort but let's see if we have anyone that's pretty chill Eligible. I think we get a new one. Leafoot and Determined. Those are eh. Determined. Strategist. We don't need the Ambush. And he's the only one with that. Weapons Master. There. I guess we go for him. I guess we go for Thograt. For the upkeep production. Um, let's give him that. That. That, 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 that. Let's give him the resistance here, the scarred veteran. We won't worry about the lightning strike just yet. We'll go maybe chop us here just to get some more damage. And if we need to, we can get a feral hydra. If we need to, we can get a feral hydra. And I think we're just going to go with Gabo Archer spam. Just to deal with these guys. Where are my archers? There they are. There we go. We'll do that. Get like the 17 stack like this. Like even these guys, it should be. They could probably they could probably still kill us, honestly. We'll use it to skirmish though. We will use it to skirmish. Oh, the sword of cane rests. Cataclysm has been narrowly avoided for now. I just wish they would let me do a military access with them. But uh, that was our own fault for not not canceling the non-aggression pact before fighting one of the we did it with one of them, but then they they got pulled into each other's wars, and we forgot. Assassinate. What? No! Is he like dead, dead? He's dead, dead. <sighs> Come on, man. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh. I don't want to look at you guys. <laughs> Hmm. How do we lose this? How, what level are these guys? They're not even that strong. I guess they both have Searing Doom and stuff. Frog's level 13. It feels a little odd, but we will bring, uh... Yeah, we're bringing Scarsnick up to push off anyway. Ooh. Hello, Bay of Blades. How's it going? Do you mind if I come destroy you? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I think the auto resolve's okay on that. Doesn't feel good, but uh, I'll do it. I think now, instead of going to the Tower of Crack, I mean, that may be nice. We may hit this place one more time next turn as well. Oh yeah, for the Arda's Nails upgrade here. So we're trying to get our, our wagons and our gobos stronger. Now we're going to go for... I think going replenish the troops here is actually going to be really nice. As we're going along this. The missile parts as we're going through here is not going to be too effective. The missile resistance could be some... Especially if they just have a ton of javelins on us, but I think they're going to focus on some of their higher tier units instead. Uh, might as well go scavenge here. We're keeping him with the wolf, though. Eight, him and his wolf have just been... Let it rip. Let it rip. <laughs> Beyblades. What you gonna, what what you you gonna do when the Beyblades come for you? Bring the bad news. Oof. It's all those long beards. 
Oh, there's long... And then dwarf warriors. Just loads of dwarf warriors. Um... We do have Curse of the Bad Moon now. It's weak against armor, but we still should be able to do decent damage against the dwarves. Because it does reduce it at least a little bit. So it's weak versus armor still, but it does reduce by 30. So, are you there gonna... You know, I think we can do it. We'll continue that siege for now. Let's go for... Let's check out. Let's check out what our situations are around here. So we got our hero. Let's block this army again, just to get it. We're going to come out here to help it, and <laughs> too much, too much power. Our Beyblade is too massive here when we have 80 units. We literally have 80 units in this one area. Two Waz, two... Oh. Oh. Say goodbye to Hell Pit, everyone. Goodbye, Skaven. Goodbye. Now. Nope, they still got Volksgrad, it seems. Now they'll say what? Let's start heading down here to Prague instead. I guess they will be here forever. We'll get the boys. We'll be able to get that upgrade as well after now. Or once they get to level uh, 7. They got. He's got the boys. Let's start going this uh, Curse of the Bad Moon, actually. Hell Pit. Occupied Hell Pit. Not too bad. Not too bad. See, I wish there was, like, more, like, that would upgrade your Spider Riders or something as you upgraded this or reduced upkeep. But the reason I don't even like this is because while these aren't even that good of units to begin with, this one's 475 upkeep for that. And it's good to have like a couple or something, but they could get shredded. Squigs, you know what? Well, no, I can't even. I can't even justify having squigs. I cannot justify having squigs, <laughs> with at, at least with the armies. They're cute and adorable. Uh, let's actually jump on them. Let's get the jump on them with these guys. We'll see if we can at least. No, that's that's actually a big old nope. Jeez, that was a heavily fortified little settlement they had there. Keeping you guys going. Let's go back to normal though. Head out this way, and we start raiding them. They're all gonna be in one turn. Yeah. Even though we're not getting money, hopefully it's siphoning off of them. Plus raiding is raiding. Get some. As I, get I think we go I think we try to go for this. I really kinda wanna go for this Grimgore snipe. But if we lose it's going to be terrible. Let's come out here. If it happens, it could be insane, actually. We already... Okay, no, we did this one out here already. Nashrak's chilling now. As a... Yep, Skarsnick. We'll head to our wizard. Yeah, he's heading out. Going that way. Our level 20, bro. Final scavenge. He'll be ready for the big leagues in no time. Let's keep heading this way. Try to go assassinate the uh, weaker of the two still. Scroll down to our other hero. I think Thaga, yeah, Thaga's just chilling. We have so much money right now. So much money from raising Hell Pit. And let's go... Where's this battle at? There it is. I'm still a little worried about this. Like, I mean, we got... We'll be able to jump on them, but we have to, like... We're gonna have to jump. And we could have went to not control large army. 
but I think that would have just hindered us. It would have, you know, siphoned out our forces more. Like, while they would have, if we knocked any of them off anyway, they would just come back with a fresh pack. We'd have to be either sitting at the edge and, like, fight all the way to the inside of the edges of their base. But that entire time we'd be fighting a slog of dwarf warriors. So I don't think that's the play. I think it's we go all at once and just try to force every single point under those dwarves. <laughs> and they do have a lot of warriors and just a few missile troops overall, it seems like. I don't think we gamble here. I mean, you guys go for this front. It didn't seem like this place was actually a really high level I settlement either. So I don't think they have like big missiles on their towers yet. Yeah, nothing crazy at least. Nothing crazy at least, he says. As he's riding on a spider down Pear Tree Lane. Let's book it on these. The Orc Boys definitely need to get that fight going. The Gabos that are coming in after. We'll let them rush up a little bit. Let's have them rush up this side of the walls. This outer edge. Trolls will hopefully be relaxed. Oh! Feel like that did nothing. <clears throat> All you guys, come on out here. Support the main troop. You guys just come around here. Um. Yes, we just push in. If we can get a blob, at least we can get a curse of the bad moon going on. We can even do this. <laughs> the only bad thing is we can't do that here. Let's just get all these trolls inside. Go, 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 go! They're going at least. They are going at least. Yeah, let's go ahead and stank these guys up. I don't really see a place of a cur for Curse of the Bad Moon yet. We can't get in here. Is there any Lord we can cast this on? We can throw this on him, just about. Let's come out here. I'm just trying to, just try to piddle on them, you know. Just a little piddle here, a little piddle there. Just keep pushing in on it. Stone trolls are doing fine. Actually, let's go. Let's go out for these guys. Go for these thunderers if we can here. Make sure everyone's going up their walls here. Good, good, good. You guys just head in here and attack something. Just get them a little off base or something. Try doing something like this. Even if we're face tanking these archers, hopefully they start running them back down the walls. Start shooting at them. Can we hit out here? I don't think nothing that they're fighting, at least right now, so let's just throw another one here. Do I have range for this? This is just extended effect duration. I don't think that's gonna work too well. Keep going for them. You guys push into here. You guys push into here. You push into here. You guys all come down here and chill. Archers, go for it. All right, I at least want the R boys firing on these dwarf warriors. All you guys are hanging out here. Come back in. The spiders are there to kind of just bait that for us, so that's fine how they did. Oh, yeah. We're crushing it, this one. Let's just throw another one on him here. Let's actually throw it up here as well. 
But we do need to think about moving into these long beards now as well. Let's just start charging it. Yeah, the thing about these, uh... There we go. The thing about the dwarves is, like, they're not super duper strong. Like, they're tanky as all get out. But these trolls, now that we buffed them up so much, they don't do damage quickly, and the trolls are able to just regenerate that throughout here. I mean, they're still... Like, if they had more missile troops, that's where I'd be worried. But we were able to just get in here and cru start crushing it. He's a little, uh... Let's get these guys jumping in here now. You guys. Yeah, you guys head up on the walls. Hey, there we go. Y'all start moving it. Just hoof it. Let's come back on these gunners here. Swing it back around. Let's slow them down. I know they're dwarves, but the moon hungers. Oh, yes. You know what? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's get a... Uh, Let's throw this on real quick. We're gonna damage ourselves a little bit, but we have some decent, uh, decent resistances. Oh no, go for those blasting charges. Go for those blasting charges here. They're done. They're done throwing. Now we come back here, stop some of these gunners from going. You guys just keep crushing in here. You guys come out here. You know, keep swarming all around them here. You guys keep coming here. I guess, yeah, y'all can do that. Um, I wish we had a good Curse of the Bad Moon area, but I feel like it's actually going to just hurt us more, if anything. Let's try to hit that Thane up. Squish in on him. And then we'll turn on all these dwarves. Oh my gosh, this is so bright comparatively to like the dark landscape area. They got absolutely shrecked here. Let's go ahead and get this guy in here. We'll help have him just help clean up some of these little areas. Have you guys out here. Oof. These guys are taking some damage, but they still haven't lost many models. This guy is just immortal. He's just got so much defense. And 120 armor with shields. There we go. Let's just start smacking the crap out of him. Start going for them. Actually, no. Let's make sure we finish off these guys here. Jump on the, this thing. If we can kill these heroes, it should be a larger balance of power. And it'll be less... Uh, disastrous for us. If he wants to run that way, he can. There's just a bunch of... a bunch of puff. And a bunch of puff. Yeah, we'll let those archers shoot them as they're running out. That's actually a nice little thing about that. I think we wait out here. If their gunners end up shooting us, or they shoot us with crossbows or something like that, I'm not... If they're throwing on those gobbos, it's a waste of ammo, honestly, in my opinion. On their part, so that's gonna work out better for us. Right, Simon. Get you guys start heading around here. Somehow, our spiders are holding the line. Actually, this is a great time for a curse of the bad moon. Sorry. Sorry, spiders. But the moon hungers. I mean, that's probably as good as we're going to get. That's probably as good as we're going to get there. These guys are just hating their life. Just be keep beating up this lord. If we can just beat up the lord, we're in a much better position. We already got him trapped and everything, too. Um, what we could even do is add in some piercing, but... Eh. Shooting off the rest of those coilers, nice. Here we go. 
let's have you guys go against those long beards there. Everyone that can shoot there, just shoot. Let's have both of these guys. Um, I think we have a good chance to do another Curse of the Bad Moon actually up here. If we want to keep going this way. Like, look at this stack that they have sitting around here. We can somehow make it close enough. Like, right here. Yeah, and we pull it up. Hopefully it goes off this way. Into those, uh... Like, around these gunners and everything. And it's not going to be a lot of damage. And it went the wrong way. Ain't, ain't that a shame. And now what we're going to do is run all these trolls out around this way. You guys just book it around. We got their lord running, so I think we're fine on that. These guys are defending out here while our archers are cleaning up those long beards. You guys just come in now. Just book it here. Smash him! And we'll just smash them. We we'll just smash them. Everyone come in on here. I can. Yep, those guys are running, but they're about they're just about to get shredded. All of our archers we just have going on them. These guys are done though. We should I should be able to hold our backs too. Let's hope it goes like somewhere out here. We can throw another one of these. I'm gonna wait for the trolls to get in though. Before we throw another uh well, actually, you know what? They're probably really close to breaking anyway. Yep, there it is. There's the army losses. <laughs> Remember when it was like 50-50 on that battle? Remember when it was like 50-50? And now it's not? We only lost seven trolls. I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys probably put out tons of damage, but I th we got, like, the maximum healing almost out of our trolls. Just for everything. And being able to send those guys in as a squad, like a strike squadron, is so nasty. And these guys are all getting so close to level 7 as well. So we really need to get that, uh, that final upgrade for them. So they can just be even more destructive. But maybe we even... Maybe we get rid of, like, four of them for some, like, sea... I mean, they're already a siege attacker. There'd be no reason to get, like, Doom Divers or something, but... Whatever we were looking at, maybe upgrading for the second thing, maybe we could get some units in that to just add variety. So much money! Oh, we have so much money now. The tribe's ready. Goodbye! Boop. Thank you. And they're gonna die soon. Where do they want to go to die? I guess. So maybe we. I'm thinking maybe we go for like some riders or something like that. Maybe. This would just be. I don't think it would be enough. The moon's hungry because it's stupid and cross-eyed. Yeah. Yeah. It's. A, oh, oh, where am I going, bro? <laughs> um. I mean, we could even do something like have just goblins so they can filter, those goblins can filter around some of those areas. Like maybe some nasty skulkers just so the trolls aren't fully surrounded. Or we keep it small and go maybe with those uh, chariots. Or the orc boar chariots. Yeah, maybe some orc boar chariots. Charge and speed for all that. Or does this also count? I mean, it says four chariots and pump wagon units. So that would still be... Can you double upgrade chariots? Because this one's just specifically to orc four chariots. But this just says all chariots. So I'd I, yeah, I'd rather go for that at least. Have some picks or something. Carrick Norn, let's replenish it here. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that one just in case. But we'll throw this up, actually. Nah. Yeah, let's throw up those walls. 
wall it up a little. <laughs> Check out some of these settlement upgrades. It's all these level one areas. Poor soul, there we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Some siege construction going on over here. Oh yeah, I think we break the siege off of that one. And what we do now is come back. Now that we see them, you know, let's just get somewhere out of the zone of control, like here, and raid them. So at least if they attack us, go ahead and get just a few, just a few Gabo warriors, just to block them. And everyone here, yeah, as Zag was tunneling. If we can get the snipe on Grimgore, I'm gonna be so happy. Because it's basically going to be GG at that point. I mean, it's already GG, pretty much. We saw the defeat chaos, but that's just going to... We're going to just have this entire eastern side pretty much under our full, full control at that point. Besides cleaning up loose ends. there's I doubt there's going to be a way of confederation here. A is slashes down. Hmm. Heinrich Kimmler joins the fray. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Let's... I don't think we could do much there. They had the uh, way higher auto-resolve, but I don't think we could have really damaged the army anyway. Too badly. These guys heading up. I think we head up as well. Start moving this army up to the north. Yeah, yeah. Grimgore. Yes. Feet Throg. Okay. So this guy. Where's Grimgore at? Does he have lightning strike? Oh, I wish we knew. Does this show on here? How much do we need to get it? So one. What was it? Four, I think? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have it. He could have lightning strike. Then we'd have to fight 80, and we definitely couldn't do that. Let's make that decision last. Make that decision last. We come out here to Fester Spike instead. Smack these guys. Finish them off. A little bit of that money. You can send. I don't know, man. Maybe we don't. This is a lot on a... That's a lot riding on one battle. And that could potentially be super out of our favor. Let's, keep, let's start jumping up here. Jumping across the Karak Ziflin. And then Blackstone Post. Come out this way. We'll be ready to sm snipe him next turn. Success on that as well. Let's head out here. Hell Pit. Yep, get your stuff. Squigs. No. I have I just have to get it. It looks too cute not to get. Nasty magic's ready. I think we keep this guy chilling here at Hell Pit just for now. The tribe's ready. You guys come here, destroy Bay of Blades one more time. Just sack it. Get the goods. Let's go up for Sarl encampment. There we go. Just keep raiding. There we go to hard as nails. And then we're eventually going to get the Gabos for their gold upgrades. Um, we're taking her down the replenished troops route because we need it as much as possible down here. But a Gork's good. Let's get that Arcane Conduit rolling now. And you can go for it. Let's keep getting him some more scavenging. Eventually, I think we get him maybe fleet footed just to increase the speed. 
But that's a big old... Uh, I don't want to make that decision. I don't want to... We come out to Dingo Crabs. We come out here. Oh, I don't want to do it, but I kind of want to do it. I think, think I may save scum this one. I may save scum this. If that guy has lightning strike. We save scum and come back to it and act like it never happened. I think that's what we do. And this is this is why we play on Harmo, you know? We sometimes we gotta you know, if we were on legendary mode, if we made this mistake, a dumb mistake like it is right now, that would be final. Let's make sure this is Grim So this there's Grimgor. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Okay, so it's just our army versus Grimgore's army. Oh, <laughs> and, I mean, we could auto resolve that, right? We could get our army. Tra I think we can win this and not get our army trashed. But what if I completely flub this up and not be Grimgore? You know what, if we're already safe scumming, if we're already going to be a safe scum slut. Two archers. Only two archers down. And that's a wog on. And we get that. You know I want that plus 20 diplomatic relations right there. You know, no, form the confederation. I think we just maybe broke the game. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together now. Look at this. Holy moly. Everything is ours again. We're losing 101,000 gold in one turn if we end this turn the way it is right now. So here is where we get to do the fun stuff of clipping all this stuff out. So like, this army, maybe I trade, actually let's look at the trade in some units first, because Azag's out already, he's like, we're fresh out of, plum out of units now. Let's go ahead and pull in this guy for like, this one, since he's weaker already. We do have a single silver chevron, so let's take out our lowest single chevron. Bring him in. We lead those two guys. Azag's gonna need some more. Maybe we take these Orc Boar Chariots? That's 20 on us. Then we can keep these guys. Let's do that. These guys. Sly Bad Axe. Yeah, ha <laughs> look at that. He couldn't do it. So, we kick this out, disband it all. So we go from 101 to 89,000 already. That's one army. That just shows you how many armies Grimgore actually had. So if we do this, we'll get, be getting a little bit more. So I think we let our replenishment go normal. This is an army we just kick. Down to 82,000 there. We're not at war with Myrmidons. Behold my infernal weapons. <laughs> Many things to make you dead. He's improving, at least on us. Maybe we won't go to war. 
Who co Order Young princes super hate us. Have... So I think we keep this army down here and we just start fighting these guys Ready out here as well. This is one that we toss. Any of these like smaller ones. Like this one. Toss. This one is a potential keep. Uh, all right, where is Ag? You're going in the uh, the pile for now. Let's go. Ahead, let's move this guy out though. Kick this army out. I mean, it's I army, but legendary lords cannot be disbanded. So let's have him just. I mean, we'll just keep him out here then. Um, this is another one we don't really need right now. Like this guy, a whole Gabo army. Don't really need that right now. So we're we're trimming fat. We're trimming fat pretty well. This one I think we kick. Because they they already got silver pinnacle for us too. Trim this fat. Twenty-six thousand. Now they'll say I got And if we have use for some of these armies, I'm okay. 50k last time, chump change, 100k this turn, peasants pay, almost 200k, almost 200k now. Um, yeah, I think this guy, oh, there's this one, I think we keep these two, because this one seems like we can do the, we can do this fight, this one, we come... Down here to Myrmidons? If we can somehow jump Myrmidons in one turn, that would be nice, but I don't think we'll be able to do that with this army. But if they want to fight us as well. Try to get some walls out here, at least. These guys head out this way. We'll keep them. And then we got to go through the process of looking through all of these places to upgrade them. We don't have to do that, necessarily. Um, you guys. Can I actually get that? Nope. Yeah, we'll bring y'all together. And fight here. Um. Some sneaky stabbing, I guess. I don't know. Let's get you... What do you have? Oh, the riders? Actually, yeah. Let's do some of these riders. <clears throat> We'll dump that river troll hag. That's a pretty nice orc war boss. We'll keep him. I'm special. This guy is an extra general out of nothing. Nope, to you. See, I like what I like what we're doing out here. That's Nagarond out here. Is it possible to pay for a non-aggression pact with y'all? Okay, so it's possible. Will y'all do it for 300? No, thank you. We're getting, I mean, we're getting normal likeness with them. Wow, welcome. No. They like the fact that we took out uh, Grimgore from them. Yeah, like this, this is just going to have to get cleaned up. We're going to go through everything. Um, these guys. Nasty magic ready. I kind of want to hold on to this army for now. Let's just cycle through everything and see what we need. Yeah. We, this is like reverse. This is like a Thanos snap reversal. We have to go through all of this now. I think he's... <clears throat> I think he's detrimental. These guys, I mean, we could still take the minus 20,000 for one turn and just get a bunch of areas next. Like, even some of these inner armies we could start clearing out. He... I just don't feel like he's close enough to anything that's in a dire area. Now that I think about it, so let's toss him. Plus he has an Arachnorok. That gets us to negative 11,000. Wurzog we can't get rid of. We want him. Special. 
I think these two guys are fine out here still. And he... I wish we could m maybe move him, but... Well, you know, if we move him up here... We start moving up this way anyway. If these guys do declare war on us, we are close by at least. This is the full gobble one. Yeah, we'll pull him to Dingo Kraz. Wound this guy, please. Nice. Nice. You keep heading down this way. Go to assassinate one of them. And we will keep... I think he needed more assassinate here. Yes. Now we'll help out. And some commandments now. Let's just go... All the growth and obedience everywhere. While we're just going through this. Growth and obedience. 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 I mean, if we did, like, increase tax income everywhere, that would eventually be a lot of extra money. But, uh... I just like growing everything to level 5 and having that extra low chance of rebellions occurring, you know? Just at least slowing down that. Sometimes I like using it as, like, its own way of farming, but... You know, it's a little toxic to the city. If it's not my own, you know? Forced to gloom. Okay, let's go through cities. Everheim. Let's not do any upgrading. Let's do just anything that we probably think we need to just dip on. These are fine. These are fine. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think we get rid of that as well here. Get rid of that. We can build walls here. We can do that. These guys are fine. Death Gorge did get hit, but let's wait on that. Um, dip on that. Dip on that. I don't want that there. I don't want that there. Keep that. This is okay at level 3, just in case. Ooh, yes. There we go. Oh, we needed that a long time ago. Dip on that. Dip on that. We'll keep them there. Dip on that. And now, too, with all the raiding stashes they have as well, we have to remember all the raiding stashes they potentially have on top of all this. I think that's fine. We won't worry about upgrading it, though, anymore. Uh, get rid of that. Oh! Noblar Underbelly. The things you learn. See, I don't even think I got out there that time. I was going... I went straight south, straight north, and then west. I think I left a little bit out there. It's just like... Because I killed Snickich and just burned it all to the ground. All these places are more of our normal areas. Here, drop on that. Uh, yeah, let's just drop on that. We repaired it, but screw it. I'm done with it. I don't need to see it anymore. Drop on that. A uh, vampire corruption. That's not that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that. That's not really that worth for the extra vampiric corruption. I'm just going to leave it as is. We'll leave that going too. We'll dip on these. Dip on all that. We're about to get tons of money because of this too. Keep that. Let's just dip on these guys. No squigs. No. No. Let's get rid of that. I think, yeah, let's get rid of that too there. Get rid of those, get rid of that, get rid of that. <laughs> I feel so bad, all this hard work. We'll keep this because I do want the Savage Orc units being able to be recruited across. Zufar, okay, turn. Southern Badlands. Okay, Grunty Mingle all by itself. All by its little lonesome. Alright, we'll leave it there. Yeah, I think that's everyone. 
What a turn. And we still haven't even finished all of Azag's quest because we didn't push hard for giants. We at least didn't try to boost growth as much as possible. We gave it some boost. Yeah, Square was like, oh, we can fight people actually now. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're coming out here for. We do have a quest to fight uh, Throg, and we can get Battle Masters at least. All armies getting plus five leadership for a while. That's not too, not too shabby. Let's see how far we're along we're on. That was a turn. That was some turn right there. Maybe I should re-title this one instead of just part eight or whatever to like the that's the turn. Uh let's go yeah. We're not gonna be recruiting, so let's get the extra leadership. Negative twelve thousand right now. But we got so much money it doesn't matter. I think like I think we've unwise. Not possible. No, no, we're not gonna fight that. I figure we could possibly beat that, honestly. Because we still have the wall. They just don't have it. I don't think they have enough missiles to deal not. with us. They don't have very miss many missiles at all, actually. They got a lot of warriors instead. So maybe we could actually just destroy King's Glade. And just raise it to the ground, start raiding. We'll have to see, though. The nation calls. Myrmidons. They've got bullet projectiles, so not the strongest. But our guys are definitely not the strongest. We could fight him instead, push him off, and then come back down. These guys are a stack of 20, so they got 26. But these guys are pretty useless. Uh, let's actually come back up this way. And what we'll do is we'll come out here and raid them, here, in the middle. If they want to jump us with both of our armies, I think we can run backwards and still be okay. Zvorak is getting at least some protection. We run out here, get close to them. If we want to, we could maybe do... We're not getting anything from those guys. Let's come back over here. I'd rather take that a little bit extra. Yep, go for it. Lightning strike that. Let's just pop these guys real quick. Replenish it up, anything that we lost. So that way we can not have to worry about those guys when we jump in here. Lightning strike that. Ooh, the sack. Big sack. And let's occupy it. There we go. I want that wyvern, baby. They're not even going to be... Tech they're not even that good in the in scheme of things. Um, We could go over here. Do we have... We don't have lightning strike, though, so we'd have to fight 13, 17, 17. So 30 plus 17, 47 versus 40. The tribe's ready! I don't, I don't think we go against that. All things considering, um... Um, they're never gonna want a military access with us. So, I think we just leave it chill. Maybe we... Let's start taking him up to Lor... Yeah, the Lorlorn Forest instead. Maybe we can take out some of those. Let's see how our long campaign's doing now. 132 out of 50. We're way past that. We don't have Naga Shazar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 out of 16 only still right now. So long campaign wise, barely anything. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need one more out of here. So yeah, imagine being the strongest. And it doesn't even matter. I think maybe we even replace 
him with Wurzak, perhaps? But he's got... Oh, they leveled him so terribly. I think we just go get him killed somewhere. <laughs> um... We could give his passive to a random, uh... Uh, yeah, no, nah, we'll t still take him somewhere. Let's take him up north, maybe. Just to sit at a city or something. And assign skill point. Let's go for the wound here. Your boy, head down here. Find a cave. Yeah. Oh, here. I don't think we can reach him. Yeah, so we'll be able to do that next turn. Keep going for the assassinate as well. Ringo Kraz. Let's see. Okay, I think we should be able to win that. Should be able to win that in battle. You guys jump on Velia Sorrow here. Jump on that. Occupy it. Contract if you do stay. Now they'll see. Um, that's the boys. Let's go for itchy nuisance here. Who needs Let's see about Karakay Peaks. Who is this? That Icky Claw? What up, baby? You lost pretty much everything else. Sorry, bro. Don't let me get out of your hair real quick. Um, him. Well, let's just send him down here, I suppose. Or maybe assault some units or something. Um, let's get raiding stashes here. Is there anything else money-wise we can get? Not right now. Got everything we needed here. Maybe some walls. Just while we're looking at it. Um... Just go. Walk him. Success. Slowly chasing him down. <laughs> uh, let's go for immortality. Immortality. Gonna go blow up the Sarl encampment. There you go. Sack it up. Aceling's Conclave is going to be a heck of a fight, but as long as we have the Y, I think we're good. Get back here. Um, let's start going. Let's get the Dodgy Geezer just now. Um, let's get him the... Uh, let's get the Dodgy Geezer as well here. These guys are getting pretty attrition. Um, let's get let's go as close as we can to Aceling's Conclave. Head out to Volksgrad here. Where the last of them are. Head out here to Zoyshank. Maybe even the Tower Crack here. You guys are heading out here. All good. Let's get some money. Commandment, we got Fester Spike. Let's go ahead and repair that and get definitely get some walls, toss those. I'm special. Mm. Yeah, who needs May have to do another turn of this. We go out here. Maybe we can dip up this way next turn instead. Yeah, let's come out here then. We have this guy blocking up here. Then we'll eventually be able to get rid of one of these armies and save some more money. But we have plenty of money to go around right now. Let's just make sure places have raiding sashes. And, uh... Yeah, raiding stashes in some of our shiny pits. Pile of shiny stuffs. White water, yep, yep, yep. Raiding stashes, raiding stashes, raiding stashes. 
You guys are going for that. Uh, raiding stashes. Let's get rid of that. Raiding stashes. So at least this way too, we're going to be able to just keep building up as much as possible. Mid stog here. Let's go ahead and fully upgrade that guy. Y'all are good here. Pile of shinies. Get rid of that. I was like, what the heck do we have to upgrade there? Raiding stashes. Raiding stashes. This is going to be insane. So every time, too, it's plus 3% post-battle loot faction-wide on top of all these. So we probably have, like, I don't even know how many provinces have this now. Or how many areas have this. But it's a lot of them. Zavastra, go ahead and make sure we're thickening that up. Like that. We'll go for defense here as well. Lindsberg, get all this. Get some money. Um, we got pretty much everything we need there except for walls. Let's go the... Oh, we can't get that yet. But I guess we wait here. Let's go ahead and... Walls. Raiding. Raid stashes. Level this up all the way. This and land. Let's get rid of this here. Pile of shiny stuff. Let's get rid of that here. Eliasar, let's just get some more money going here. Raiding stashes here, I think, instead would be better. Because at least that way, too, we'll have movement going on around there. And is that all of our lords, too? Oh, this is so much work now. So much work. Whatever our heroes are doing, they'll if they're not moving, they'll eventually tell me, at least, so I know that. They're on the case, at least. They may waste one turn slightly moving versus something else. Like that. Like that. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and Mulder's pretty much over. <laughs> We're so much stronger than literally anyone right now. Maybe, like, Nagarond is the closest. Yeah, it looks like they're one to declare war. This makes sense. <clears throat> we'll send Azag down that way. I think we're uh, if the Wood Elves, the Wood Elves usually don't want to leave too much. Like they'll come out, maybe blow up that side area next to Carrick Ezor. <clears throat> but uh, it's, yes, they're not going to do anything crazy. Vinny character card. Elkasson. Wow. We can finally do that battle at least. Let's let's go ahead and start moving down here to these guys. I think we should be able to do this fight. Let's just finally get our Ard Ama. <laughs> oh yes. Hey, we gotta do this battle. That hill, Grunsnick's Mount, is the key. And the Humis are camped on it. But these Humis like their nags. No doubt they're behind the hill ready to flank Azag's force. But Azag won't burn yesterday. He don't know when he was born. He'll need to make sure the Humis and nags don't catch him off guard. Smash the hill base skits before the pincer gate closes. Good thing we can literally use a flying wizard... <clears throat> and just cast spells on them. I think the pincer is just a way for us to have them, you know, get their forces together so we can hit them easier. Those stupid flouncy humans think they can trounce all over our sacred ground. 
That burial mound is Mork's property. Not some fishy smelling like Yeah, <laughs> don't blink, this battle will be over. Yeah, I mean, it could they could still throw something at us that I can't remember. Come on, lads. We're gonna stamp these. That uphill battle, though. I see those horses out there. I've had my vision from Mark himself. He reckons we do this. It's gonna sort my armor out real good. And I want yes. to knock you all about. What's that? <laughs> yes, we'll go south afterwards. Let's go. Let's kill some knights. Let's go. So there's the pincer over there. Here's a piece of it here. They have all those trebuchets. What's their trebuchet? 440? We're at 481, actually, so we do outrange them right now. Uh, yeah, I think we come out here, maybe. It's possible. No, we don't want those catapults not having an angle here. So let's hold them like this, maybe, right now. So that they're not, they may not be able to shoot these guys. They can maybe shoot here, at least, or up here. These archers. We can have them ready just to shoot these guys ready to block. If they want to attack us, you know, we'll counter them with these chariots. Keep the giant in the middle here. Azag can come out here too for now. Archers. Let's, we'll thin out the line a little bit. Let's just jump in on some of these horses. Let's see. Ooh, that was a good hit right there. Yeah, these guys aren't going to do too much to us, at least. We just want our archers to basically sit on top of them. We'll throw this, actually, here. This, this purple sun will suck up most of these horses pretty easily. Oh yeah, not a lot of kills, but we're gonna get a ton of damage on that for sure. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Just chase these guys off as much as possible. You chariots, just start keep chasing them down. Archers are doing fine, just run these guys back. Smack these guys. Let's actually back up these guys here. Make sure we can get ready to hit their trebuchets, if anything. Let's just fly right over to on them. You three guys start shooting here. You two guys start chasing out here. One of you goes out this way. The other goes out this way. Let's have these guys out here. One on each one of these men at arms. Um... Let's go for just jumping on these guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna win to death a little trebuchet. Let's do it. Feels good that we can just use this because we want to. Not many kills. Not many kills for sure. Go smack them. You guys come out here. You guys come out this way. Yeah, let's come back out here. You guys start running across this way. As uh, go ahead and pull a purple sun across this way if you can. We'll throw this on her. Let's get those guys. Keep fighting them. Let's just smash these guys if we can. You guys come back here on your siege machines. You just go smack them, air boys. Then out this way. Y'all can come out here. Y'all can go out here. Come on, grab it. There you go. Let's just chuck on this one archer out here. You warriors. Have them start running after these guys out here. We'll keep chasing from there. It's okay if they fight that Arbor, at least this one's not taking the heat anymore. Azag. Just 
Just throw it on there. Screw it. Keep going for these guys. Make them route. The more of these trebuchets to take out, the better it is for our balance of power, no matter what. You guys keep shredding out here. You guys keep shredding them here. You guys can fire at those guys if you want. We'll just cluster in here. Giants got the leader down, and I think that's army losses there. Yeah, this trebuchet's got some hits on us, though. I'll give it to him. We didn't lose a lot of unit models. 214, so, like, yeah. Not too much, but... It was a, yeah, their trebuchets just... They got a good swing on a couple of these guys, and he, this one archer was fighting off a lord, which was, I mean, in the end, having a lord just sitting inside an archer that's, like, him not supporting the battle line much, and him just kind of being surrounded by your own units, not that bad, unless it's, like, a lord like Azag, where he's there to want people on top of him to just blow stuff up on top of that. So he was doing the, the way that I would usually do it with, like, my heroes or something. Get them locked in there and then accidentally get them killed. Because I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. They can't do that. And let's go. Yeah, let's replenish a little bit. Because we will be going along our way. I think we save on the money here. Oh, yes. And now he's even more of a team player now, too. He's a team player and a solo. It's such a nice little combo. So here... See, I feel like they could maybe do it here. Just jump in on these guys. We got a pretty solid claw group. And all we gotta do is just chase down these... There's not a lot of archers. I only think w these guys have a... Uh... Yeah, firewall moving. I don't think these guys... I think one of them have like a straight range and the other has a circular range. Um... I guess let's wait on it. I cannot. Let's get you to wound her maybe. Nice! Good job. Yeah, let's just send him down here along the way. Here, let's try. So if we go to war with them, war with Myrmidons, go to war with them. Let's go ahead and give eight leadership to something like this. So let's see if we can. Do that. Now can we? So he's here at least. That does make it even. That's nice. But I think we wait till the next, the following turn. So we'll have one more turn of losing money, like at least like that. Come here. Oh really? I guess it's just a lot of gunners, but we're gonna. Let's get in there. It's a lot of gunners. But we have we start with the range because we have the two Doom Diver catapults. Looks like we have a hill a decent hill too, but it has that weird like forest in front of it too. I don't know how we're gonna do with that. Maybe we can come out this right side instead. Like along this hilltop, perhaps. Just leave that one. Unless the trees aren't really blocking that bad. Because these Doom Divers do go up and over. Up and over! These guys run straight at their wall. All the all this cab is just going to shut this down. It, that's going to be too easy. So you're like, yeah, I mean... That could be nice for us if we're charging in, I suppose. They're definitely going to get blocked if we come out here, so maybe our best bet is to start with the trees right here. Something like that. We can even start hitting them here, too. 
keep the Arachnorok right here, like in the woods, to just not get hit by shots. Have him chill right behind him, so he can soak up all the shots. Have these guys chilling back here. One little archer. Bring these guys together. Actually, we'll split them up. This half can chill back here for now. This half, chill out here for now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, we definitely just jump on this flank, I'm I'm guessing. So let's actually bring this uh, Snotling Pump Wagon over here. Wee! <laughs> Look at him go! This is the one, this is the one artillery piece that I'll do for this. Let's get it loaded. Oh no, we probably shouldn't. We probably shouldn't. Let's just let it fire. Okay. Okay. Come out here. We can let the mortars come in for now. Once these gunners get a little bit closer. Come out here for all this stuff. The wall. Just go forward, wall. Just go forward. You guys go after here. Yeah, you guys go after here, maybe. Okay, you guys can stay here if you want. Bam. Throw that on him. Throw that on him, you guys. Start crushing out here. You guys go here, you guys go here. You guys are following. Go through here if you can. Go, 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 go. You guys come on back around. And try to do a little recombine. You guys keep fighting here, crushing them there. There we go. Those guys are not having a fun time, that's for sure. It's not like pump wagons. Start coming out here if you can. Maybe just go for those guys. Let's wad up. Come in here, let's just crush these swords for now. Have these guys chasing after them, you guys. Start coming out here to these handgunners. These guys are some handgunners. It is gonna hurt these guys shooting, but someone someone's gonna take the flak here. Let's just start going through here. Just make sure everyone's going on something. Got these guys, the pump wagons, yeah, keep it going, keep it going. Actually jump on these guys now. You guys go here. While this guy keeps chasing, you guys keep coming out here. There we go, there's the army losses. There we go. Yeah, the Black Orc Vegans, way stronger than that. Like, if, if they had, had set up a solid defensive structure and had a way to take out our artillery pieces, that would have been fine. You know, they their handgunners could have actually probably won that for them. Maybe. I don't know. I don't I think with the amount of just cavalry we had swarming around them, they just didn't have a chance. Without going turtle, but then our black orcs would be upon them too quickly after that. It's not like pump wagons, we just should have kept them where they were and bashed through quicker there. But uh we were trying to repurpose them and hey. Not that they did bad, I just was... I, I do too many last-minute decisions with them. These guys did great, though. These ones are anti-large. Uh, this one... I think this one's the anti-infantry one. But these are still strong with the charge. They're just better against large units. And I think as well as those guys. Get the replenishment here. He's dead. The time's ready! So this army, I think we potentially dip now. 
He's done his part. I like the army, but... Hey, we're making positive money now? Positive money. Let's... What I think we do now, too, is go ahead and take a save. All the getting's good. Just in case a crash happens, because we do have a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm special. Blow it up one more time. Actually, what I'm thinking about doing here real quick, too... It's actually coming here. This gives us a chance to heal... Oh, never mind. I was hoping we could heal our Waba. At least our guys will get a little bit of replenishment. We're not, I'm not worried about the Sarlin encampment doing anything. We'll probably just abandon it and make them have to retake it. Let's go to the Tower of Crack. Get ready to kill these guys because they can't do anything. What the movement was that? Easy GG? Oh, yes. The easiest of GGs here. Skarsnix made his way around the world. We'll get him to recolonize here. Um... Just got gobos for now. Maybe we get mob boss with him? Let's get his weapon strength up. Just because that's akin to him. She's doing good. Let's get... This. No, let's go to the teach him right. Teach him right for the leadership bonuses here. I hear ya. You can keep going. Uh, yeah, we're going up here with you. Yeah. You know, we probably should save the scrap. Let's just get stronger. Let's just get stronger trolls. What do you want? I think we'll be able to make it over there in 10 turns. This hero, let's have him just follow these guys. Maybe like out to Longship Graveyard or something like that. Just keep an eye out this way. Now that we've pulled Scar Snick away. You know nothing. He's just running around. Being silly. Um, this guy. Let's have him check out this area. Because we do have an enemy out there, at least. We don't want them to just accidentally jump us out of nowhere. Um, I don't think they have any more Skaven locations besides those two. Let's send him down here, maybe to wound, potentially. You guys get ready to head down here. You guys get ready to head down here. Here. Maybe we can just keep encircling this one, honestly. See what happens there. I'm okay with attritioning that one out. Didn't have anything out here, did we? We do have this. The last of these guys. That's it for them. Get the fear, armor piercing, magic resist on him. Woohoo! And throw out the unclean. He got an extra 10% HP there. That's nice. He's just got the wolf, too. There are Dunzo there. But now that we're not, yeah, now that we're not raiding a bunch, we are losing a little bit of money again. Just a little bit. I think we leave the settlement upgrades. Siege construction. That's that one. Um, do we do that fight, or do we wait? I guess we should do this fight. I will not obey. Is what, 10? Plus 16, only 26, and we've got 40. No, we were wait. Yeah, we were waiting till next turn still for that. That's right. Won't worry about that. Damage building. Yeah, let's get Volkscrad. That place will need to be defended. Commandment as well. Nice. Always good. Let's get raiding stashes. Upgrade money. Let's end the turn there. Whew. Yeah, we are Zuckerberg rich. 
I'm still trying to penny pinch and we can just buy whatever we want now. Well, you know, we're still in that debt though. That debt area. Wurzag just having fun on his own. See, if we if we could just get rid of Wurzag, like at least just not have him on the payroll, we'd be saving so much because we pay we when you get extra generals, you pay extra supply lines for all that, and it can just the amount of armies we have right now is just so many. So it's incredibly expensive, but that's why I like playing the orcs. Is like, you can have a fairly prosperous economy, but you also medi you mediate that with sacking cities and raiding and all that stuff. So you kind of take a more aggressive approach. But if you're failing at that aggressive stance, which happens, you know, you get in some weird situations, you end up getting kind of screwed. Ooh. He got killed out here. Makes sense. Be the best. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, again, we have so many things, too, that are making our recruitment cost a lot more, so we're not going to recruit. Um... We get Fissigork. Is that the AoE one? No, that's just wins a magic cost reduced. Here we go. His allies in range. That's just self and ally. Let's do here we go. So at least if we need to buff up their damage, we could do that. You guys start heading out to Mirgliano. You guys start heading out here as well. What's our force march looking like? Let's force march him out here. As far as we can. As I you force march out here. We'll just put them both here, because with the, all of them together, I think we'll be fine. We're going to encampment stance instead. So at least this way, these guys should have some better... Uh... Attack! Yeah. We'll get ready to jump on that battle now that all of our guys are going to be... Like, we're not going to have half of our army being tired before entering the battle. We keep going through the underground. As we pass through here. Assassinate here. See what happens. Success. Can't, can't hinder his replenishment. Let's try to start hindering his replenishment as we're chasing him down. Assassinate goes up. Uh, we do have Siege Attacker here, so we don't have to wait for it. Auto resolve that. Sack it. Take it over with them. Occupy. So now he can maybe come out here. And we can do this here. Auto resolve that. We lost to Gabo, but that's not too bad. Damn. We'll use him to occupy. But I actually think we keep this guy. This guy is like, I... Well, no. Let's make sure we give him... Let's get all these guys. I want all these boars. So instead of these guys, we don't have to worry about them. And then toss some of these destroyed Gabo archers. 35, 35, 36... Trade those out. Now we can get rid of him. Making plenty of money again. What's our supply lines at? Yeah, we have 12 armies right now. Additional upkeep right now. 30,000. An extra 30,000 dough just because of all these armies. I want to make sure that these guys are getting cleaned out. Nagashazar is over here also, so we can get something out there. Death Gorge, let's go ahead and demolish that. Get that going. Karak Asgal, we can push up as well. I think both of these are nice armies to have down here, so let's keep going with them. Sneaky stealing. Mm, these guys are heading down, they're doing their thing. Karak Boofdar. Fester Spike, go ahead and get your shinies. Karak Norn. Upgrade out here. 
Dissenberg, you, you're good. But we can get you some stuff here now. Okay, you guys are heading out. You guys are still doing your thing. Did we already move you? No, we didn't move you yet. Let's go to, out to Aceling's Conclave now. This is going to be a huge sack right here. The Crack Tower. Blow it up. Sack it. I would like to go to these uh, mountains out here, though, too. Because that's actually a place we can hold. Let's go for the itchy nuisance here. <clears throat> so if these guys are in a melee, we can help them out even more. Keep heading out here. Yeah, let's head out to the bear singling camp here now. And annoy these guys. Um... Let's go with the Itchy Nuisance. Frog. Let's get you some defenses. Aberheim, we can go ahead and start upgrading you. Any main territories we'll start upgrading. If they need it. Or if we see a really good uh, level 3. Yeah, Karak Dromar here. That's okay to go to level 3. Morgheim, let's keep pushing you guys. Matorka. Well, he did clean it up out here, so I think that's okay. Wrecker's Point, nope. Crooked Fang, repair. Dringo Kraz, repair. Starl Encampment, no, 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 no. And we'll jump, this will probably be... Probably is going to be the last fight for tonight. Still, I mean, they only have one mortar, that's the good thing. We can get these black orcs up here. We should be pretty solid. What's going on, Tom? What's going on? Yes. Came out a good time. We You missed it, Tom. You're going to have to go back and watch the earlier part of the stream because you missed us. You told us to fight Grimgore, and we found Grimgore, and we sniped him with Azag's army. And yeah, it wasn't we actually didn't do the battle. We just auto-resolved it because... I was feeling lazy, but now we have confederated Grimgore because we killed him and we have twice the amount of land we now do. And it was all thanks to you, Tom. All thanks to you and the blood god demanding blood. Well, and then, you know, we have to give thanks to Mork and Gork too, but, you know, they already know that we love them. <laughs> yes, I auto resolved it. We, like, with Azag, we definitely would have slaughtered that. Because he is Azag the Slaughterer, obviously. But I was just like... I was just looking at it and I was like... Oh, I don't want to deal with Grimgore just being unkillable. You know? I was like, I'll throw like one Orc Biggin on him or something. But he'll just eventually... You know. We only lost one Orc Archer out of it too. It was like... It looked like a 60... 40... What's going on, little one? What's going on? Welcome, welcome. We are... Trying to figure out. I think we bust all these guys in down here. Let's get all these guys going up this way. Two sneaky archers on the side. Two's not gonna be a lot, but we'll hey, we'll take it. Let's get ready to go. You guys go out here. You guys just start busting this down. Archers. Get it. Do you hear that noise they're making? Oh, la, 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 la. They sound like uh, like a murloc or something. Orc archers? Yes. Oh yes, the orc archers. They're not cowardly. They j they are so they're so brave that they just give other people a chance to come kill them. Since the orc archers are actually pretty weak. Oh wait, no, that's still you guys. That's still you guys. Go out here, wait for all these guys to come in. Come out here. You guys start going out this way if you can. More gobos. Let's like head out here maybe. They're on the defensive. So much cavalry. So much cavalry. Here comes the wah. Let's pull this. Let's push this general in here. Are all you guys putting up your ladders? I don't believe it. Oh, nice! Look at them go. That's good. 
You know, I'll start putting some up here. Getting close to busting through here. Oh yeah, these guys are gonna get absolutely slaughtered. I'm wondering if we... I wonder if we can sneak the loonies. I don't think that's gonna get through the wall, but I'll try. Let's get these guys like flat along here, see if we can send some loonies on the inside. Let's start just pouring through here. Pour into here, into these swordsmen. Gobble archers. Let's see. Come on. Tell me I can get those loonies in there. No, they're not going to be able to do it. That's okay. That's okay. Let's have these gobble archers like this then. You're all coming in. Go, 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 go. I think he's probably still running. Yeah, he's slow as can be. I'm not even going to use these catapults. When Warhammer 3 comes out, you'll play corn first, right? If I mean, I'm probably am not going to get it instantly, but I'll play corn, yeah. Just for you, Tom, once I once I play Warhammer. I mean, if I, I'm if I'm feeling frisky, I may purchase it when it comes out, you know. But I am a cheapy cheapy cheapskate, but just for that, Tom, I got you. I'll play corn first. But just know it may take some time after it first comes out. Let's keep going down here. Getting ready, finally getting busting that down. Let's get in here. Start going for some of those Empire Knights. You guys are hanging out here. Let's push them up a little bit further. Good. <laughs> the wah! I can't believe we haven't got our wah points yet. We're getting wah points like crazy, but it's just not enough. I guess we just need to get up on that wall over here. There we go. What up, boys? What up? Let's start running on these handgunners out here. Actually, let's run in on these handgunners here. We're almost... That gate's almost down. Let's keep... Let's just hold on to these guys here for now. And so once this bus downs, inevitably... It's going really quickly, too. We're having, we're having so many orc boys on there. Literally, literally littering arrows onto these Empire Knights doing nothing. Just, we're doing damage, but not enough. Charge in here, actually just charging on these guys. You guys keep pushing, keep it pushing. Push as hard as you can in there. You guys go for here. You guys come out here. You guys come cr crush on this side now. You guys go in here. You four start running up this way for these uh, mortars. They will eventually run out of ammo. I thought I. Oh, he must have stopped. Oh, he must have stopped coming when uh, they broke down the gate. That that must have been what it was. You guys just go here. Another wall. Let's see how you guys are doing. Right, let's see some basic orc boys fighting in here. Or the biggins. So silly hand gunners. Trying to poke at us. We'll go in here. We'll fight some of these Empire Knights. They're not that strong. Especially uh, when they're just stopped like this. Not really too strong at all. You guys just sweep across here. You guys come into here as well. Let's start going for these guys here. Keep jumping on all of them. You guys come out here now. Having the cavalry jump in here isn't too bad when we have them like under cover and under wraps and all that good stuff. But until then, it's kind of sketchy. Kind of a sketchy situation. Let's see how these Empire Knights are faring against us. I mean, our guys are probably tired as all get out. Oof. Can't get a good side angle on it. I mean, 
looks pretty good. Let's go. Let's get in here. Just crush these guys. How have they not hit army losses yet? There we go. Okay, there's army losses. I always say that like right as army losses is about to hit. I'm like, where is it? There we go. 50-50 battle. Only lost 500 units. Is that 500 exactly? If my maths is correct, that's 500 exactly. And besides the Black Orcs, I mean, we had the Black Orcs, we had the Trolls. I mean, most of our stuff, I guess, was just overall better than their stuff, but... Hmm. I guess we were just able to jump on those walls, too. Mortars... Mortars against... Like, if we had Orc Boys or something like that, or even just the Orc Biggins, the Mortars would be way stronger against us. But against the Black Orcs, not really. They're actually... The Black Orcs are actually kind of such big entities... They have a bigger, like, triangle when you, like, you're you, showing their formation and stuff. So they actually probably get less of them hit. It's probably, like, only a few versus a bunch that get hit. Uh, this is why we get raid and stashes. This is why you spam raid and stashes. And cities like this, too. Just insane. Now we get to decide who we keep here. I think we dip this army. But I kind of like the whole idea of all those. Let's do something like this. Oh, no, let's keep him in there. Actually, I kind of want to keep this guy instead. So let's dip. Let's get these guys. These trolls, perhaps. And two more black orcs. Let's drop this. The catapult's kind of useless there. Let's do that. <laughs> and let's actually say goodbye to this guy, Narla Backstabba. We'll come in there instead after. Myrmidons. Get rid of that. Let's get through all these. Check out our lords and heroes one more time, because I can hardly ever remember. Scarsnick, yeah, needs to move still. Taking Zoyshank. Making we're making 17k now a turn after the confed. Okay, all y'all are doing your thing. You're good. Azag was still heading down, if I recall correctly. Yep. 50-50, it says, yeah. I don't believe in the 50-50. <clears throat> Not when we got the wah. They don't really count our, uh, our good, good wah like that. Maybe... Let's see if we can possibly replace some lords. Actually, can we get... I think there's a way we can actually get rid of Wurzag, isn't there? I mean, we could just have him train up an army, honestly. He's got enough things that boost army stats, so... Let's just get whatever he has stats for, I suppose. We got enough money, so I'm not too worried about that. And they'll be ready... That army will be ready to fight against Chaos when it comes. Whenever Archaon decides to rear his ugly face. Still haven't defeated Throg, though. <laughs> Throg got away. There he is. He's back! Oh, Now they kind of got themselves stuck, though. That's their last... That's their last bits there. Let's just fight that. Let's get the war fervor. Yep, there goes... There's Grimgore back. So here, Karak Asgall. Destroy them. Wow. Those rattling guns got a lot of kills. So this guy. I think we can fight that at Death Gorge. With the against that, I think we'll be fine. 
It's not gonna look like it. On the on the battle. Uh get the Arachnorok here. Aceling's conclave. Just sack and making money. <laughs> so much money. So much money. Um I think we walk out this way to actually keep going towards the dwarves. But let's actually stay here for one more sack. Bag battering. <laughs> let's batter him with our bags. Let's keep going the fleet footed here. Increase the speed. The bag batters. Back on your feet. He's still just going out here anyway. This way. The tribe's ready. You hit. Let's start sprinting him up this way. You go for this guy. 10%. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We tried our best. Hinder his replenishment. Doesn't really matter. What? Do you stop? What? Let's go try to wound him. Let's start heading out this way to the desolation of Nagash. You guys head out here towards Nagashazar, and we'll be wary about these. Kind of want to keep these armies down here in case of, uh... Yeah, let's move him to Death Gorge, then. These guys are chill with us. We'll keep it chill there. You guys... Come out here. Oop. Hello. You may want to run away, sir. Let's come out here. We're going to just start raiding. Making ever so much more money. Sure, Grinzat. Let's push you up. We're we're just like making so much money. Throw everything into our economy now. Even if it's a waste of money, it's not really a waste of money at this point. Eater shopping. Only a short way away, but you know what? Screw it. Let's upgrade these guys now. Damage building, sorrel encampment. Let's leave it. Needling, go ahead and get stronger. Port Stragov. Uh oh. I think we had other things to do still. I'm special. Yeah, we were wanting to raid there. That's not gonna be good. Wurzag. Wurzag. Now that you're in Prague. Oh yeah, they're raiding out here. See, this is what happens. I get all these armies, and if I was playing legendary mode, I'd be way more on top of them. I'd take these turns super slow, but since it's hard mode only, uh, I'm not too worried about all the all the minor things. Plus, some of these ratings are going to be fine anyway. Eric Zifflin's destroyed. So few dwarfs left. There they are. This is the first wave of chaos, too. That's not even, uh... It's not the big stuff. Everyone's ready for duty that we took out. Um... We'll just actually head back to... Ooh, Eric Flag's under. Ooh, Seepgore. Let's start getting you going. Silver Pinnacle. Let's get rid of this here. Hopefully start focusing up some defenses out there. Nashrax Lair is fairly defended. Desolation of Drake more. Let's get that more defended. Um, no walls out here. Let's just set him right here. 
heroes. Block. Pack. We'll kill them real quick. We'll kill them real quick. So you just start heading down to Death Gorge. Chillin'. Um, get your assassinate up. You can... Yeah, just start checking. Let's just keep checking out their, ter their little territories out here. You start going out this way, maybe. We can start moving you. Um, it's the right way here. I think we go down this way and then come back out up here. Um, I don't think any of these guys can make it out right now, so let's smash this bear sunling camp. Plus, we do have our Waw still here, so I think this is a fine time for us to uh, maybe sit out here. Try to maybe pull those armies out away from up here and instead to Volksgrad. Frog. Go ahead and upgrade that. Um, what kind of army do we want with Wurzak? I guess we go the Savage Boys. We could go the Savage Boys, or we could do a giant stack. The giant spam is always fun. Just go through and smash stuff. We only have we do have Savage Orc Biggins. Eh. There goes all my money, but six turns we will have a giant stack. <laughs> and we will use it for things, totally. We, go. we will definitely use it for things. You guys are out here raiding. Over here. Chilling here. Having fun with Azak. We'll do that battle next time. We'll destroy that battle, but uh we'll wait for next. On that. Start leveling that up. Start leveling. Money. Let's just level that up. Damage building, we keep going here. Or kill Blood Reaper. Can I make that in two turns? Let's just... We can't do it, so let's just come in here and then we'll raid instead. You've got full movement range, so let's hit this one more time at Ace Link's Conclave. Burn it down. Sack it. Start coming out here. We'll sort of go for these guys along the way. Maybe just some for some more experience. Um, this is the one I think we go for the gobos. Yeah. Sneaky stabbers. So once they get to level to rank seven, we should be good there. Um, let's go the horde mass. We're just letting him be our spell guy instead. Don't need to be using fate, our fate spell, and that, and Footagork at the same time. It would just be redundant. There's some more on these guys. We can wipe through that real quick. Probably worth a decent amount of money still. Nice. Take it. Crack a drag down here still. Um, as far as other guys, that was him. Nashrak's pretty much moved as much as Ag. Scarsnick. Start, just go for Norden, take that back. You already moved. Yeah, you did your stuff. You're doing your stuff. Alright. And so yeah, when we come back, we'll be doing this, but uh this will sadly have to wait till next week. Till next week. Maybe if we get enough recordings done, I'll try to do a Sunday stream on this. 
But if not, no big deal. We need to make sure that we're looking at the rest of our territories as well. Let's go ahead and get on Azag. And save this here so we know to come back to it next time. But thank you everyone for stopping by today. Yeah, we'll be... We got plan a board coming up. We got two meetings. Well, you know, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday. I'll try to do, with whatever time we have left when I get back home, I'll try to record some Medi 2 Total War. So again, that way, during the weekend, maybe I won't have to record as much. So I'll, f I'll feel up to maybe doing a Sunday stream. But until then, I will see you guys next week. And we shall have a glorious war. A glorious war. Bye.